What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to Underleveled. My name is Taka. And my name is Kat. This morning, Nintendo released a trailer for the new Animal Crossing New Horizon event. We're going to be watching it for the very first time, as well as giving our thoughts and reactions to it. So let's watch that trailer! Tick! Okay, so it's in two days. Festival, <laughs> which means pave. I love oh pave. My gosh, I love how he dances. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I love him. All their outfits are so cute. I love the feather headdresses. <laughs> okay, so we're collecting feathers like snowflakes and cherry blossoms. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's so fabulous. I love how he just throws out the feathers at the end. <laughs> oh, I love those emotes. They're so cute. Oh, we have another event in March too. That's really nice. It was really short. Oh yeah. I liked it. It's short. Oh my gosh, though, the Pave must dance got me. <laughs> So I thought that was a really cute trailer. <laughs> I love Pave. So actually, interestingly enough, even though I played the past Animal Crossing games, like I played New Leaf, but I, for some reason, only played during the summer. So I never actually saw Pave. Oh. And I never like time skipped either. So this is the first game, New Horizons is the first game that I actually time skipped in. And now it's going to be the first game that I see Pave in. <laughs> yeah, and I love, I really like how um, they kept Pave's dance. That's the same dance Pave does in. Oh Leaf. really? Yeah. Oh my god, I, I love it. it. That's so one much. of my favorite things about Pave is his <laughs> dance. I love it. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah. So Nintendo tweeted a lot of information about this update. We're going to be taking a look at all the information that wasn't included in the trailer. So here's the Nintendo Japan website. Um, it does have more information about the event. Not only does it talk about the festival, but it goes over other things that we are going to cover right now. So if you remember from the Nintendo of America Twitter site, they had a bean tossing kit, and that's actually from a Japanese tradition called Setsubun. It usually happens the day before spring starts, and it's to welcome in the Lunar New Year. So it's kind of similar to New Year's in the fact that they want to, like, chase away the hardships, but in this point, they're chasing away evil spirits, and they do that by scattering beans, roasted soybeans. So the throwing of the soybeans is called mamemaki, and it literally means scattering beans. The beans themselves, the roasted soybeans, are called fukumame, and that means lucky beans. And they do this by throwing the soybeans either out the door or at dad dressed like an ogre. <laughs> and they do it while shouting, ogres out. All right, so there's actually four more items that weren't shown in the trailer. Here, under the Nook Shopping in the Seasonal tab, you can see the four items. This is hato no chocoreto, which is um, heart chocolate, box of chocolate. Next is hato no bara bouquet, which is heart rose bouquet, shown here. Oh, so pretty. Very pretty. Next, we have the Owen megahon gurita. And Owen suru means to cheer. So it's, a, it's like a megaphone for, for sports. Yeah. And in New Leaf, you actually had a megaphone that you could summon your villagers with. So I wonder if it's, it might be the same, yeah. something like that. But it's kind of weird too, because I think in New Leaf, it used your microphone and you were supposed to say the villager's name and then it would summon them. But I wonder how the Switch would implement that if it was that. I wonder if we're just like a, kind of like an emote. Yeah, I, it might just be like to cheer. Mm, that'd yeah. be interesting to find out. And last, we have the Amifto no Rag. And that's the American football rug. If you didn't tell me what Amefuto meant, I would have no idea. Um, I'm not a sports person, but I wouldn't mind having that. Yeah, Yay just sports. to collect. All right, now another really interesting thing that we found on the Japanese site is this picture right here. And right here, you can see a little, a little Rossetti. <laughs> and um, this is actually for Groundhog Day. But I can't say that I missed him. I missed him. You missed him? Yes, I want. I love it when someone yells at me for not saving my game. For like 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and in this picture, you can see, of course, that American football rug and the cheering megaphone, which is really cool. It actually, it doesn't look like 
anything but an emote. Yeah. Kind of like the, the champagne. Yeah, the ding. Yeah. Except this one's like, yeah. But I love it. And it looks like you can <laughs> customize it, which is really cool. And it's funny that the football says Nintendo on it, or N-T-D-O. <laughs> that is cool. I didn't notice that until now. All right, so this one we actually had to ask one of my Korean friends about because we're not too well-versed in Korean culture, and I'm not that certain how to pronounce the names for them either, so I'm not going to try. <laughs> but we'll put the names in the video so that you know how they're spelled at least. So this is part of a tradition where the younger generation will bow to the older generation and offer gifts and blessings for good health. And in return, the older generation will give them a bag, a cotton bag, with New Year's money in it. And it's to celebrate the Lunar New Year. After their whole tradition, they'll usually spend the day playing board games like what was released for the New Year's event. The character on the bag means foo, which translates to good fortune. The next Lunar New Year item being released is something that I'm familiar with because my family still gives me these. It's a red envelope with money in it. Similar to the Korean ones, the elders usually give it to the younger folk. And it's normally called Lei Si here in Hawaii, but other people call it Hong Bao. It's to wish good luck and fortune to the next generation. So it looks like with the update, everyone's gonna get a pair of maracas, probably in the mail. And I really hope that you can actually like play them. Yeah, that'd be so cute. All right, and last was this shown at the very end of the trailer, which is an update in March. And here you have the Mario mushroom as well as a star. So if I had to guess that this update is actually going to show up on March 10th, which is Mario Day, because March, M-A-R, 1-0 is I-O, so it spells out Mario. And if it's like New Leaf and they had the Nintendo oh, items... Oh my god, that would be so cool. That would be amazing. Even the dogs think it's amazing. They love it. They can't wait. <laughs> I really want the Master Sword. Yes, that's, oh my I would want that, but I wonder if it's just going to be only Mario items. Oh, that's true since it's Mario Day. I take Mario items. Yeah. So, I'm excited. <laughs> so we really hope you liked our reaction to the trailers and our thoughts and then our research afterwards to the update. It looks like it's going to be a really good update. I'm really excited for this. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and turn on the bell for more notifications. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.